Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 31 of Healing Good Pretty Cure. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm, I should have got my bottle of water. But it's over there, and I'm over here, and that's too far of a walk. I'm already, like, settled and ready to go, but no. Oh, we can take one right from there. Aww. Yay. Hold up. Mm-hmm. I mean, because they've never really dealt with a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how the heck are you going to defeat that? I have no clue. She just said that's a Lord, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How are you gonna heal that? Are we really going to an opening? Are we serious? Do we need that? I mean, yeah, it's been like two weeks since we last saw this show. But um Did we really need that? I don't really think so. But yeah, how are you guys doing? It's been two weeks since we last saw each other with this show. How's everything going? Were you all stressed last week? Because I know I sure as hell was. And I was even more stressed for like another reason because family problems and been praying for her every single day and I haven't really heard anything so I gotta ask my mom about it today. But it's been a very stressful last week and the ish that happened last week just I want to say broke me a lot to the point where I was just like I don't know if I can do this anymore because <laughs> it was just so much for me and thank god I like took a step back kind of did some things on Twitter that I had to do that was best for me. Yeah. And I feel a lot better now. Hella better. <laughs> it was a long week of hell, and thank God it's over. <laughs> oh, okay. So the injection of Freddy Cure into your veins. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, how in the world are you gonna stop that? Don't even know. Let's go. <laughs> no. Right now, y'all are too weak. By using a human. Which, I mean, like, let's just say this. I don't think I said this la last time. You know, hey, I mean, she's the first one who's tried it. I mean, I, I, it's working for her. Not like, what's his face? 
but then it makes me wonder if the other two might do something like that as well to be uber powerful just as much as she is. Nice try, though. Earth is the only one left. Never mind. So now what do you do? I mean, oh, Thundercats. Mm hmm. You know, the other two is just looking on the side like this, bitch. Oh, of course. them girl mm. I'm ready to just see what in the world his body look like mm. of course But you got to do something fast. Hmm? Oh! No, he's okay. He's just dead. Oh! I mean, I could traumatize like any kid, but who, God.
Yeah, they just gotta go regroup, think of a new game plan, and then, you know, come back full force, that's all. What you gonna do? Find a shark? I, I mean, cause if she did that, <laughs> uh, that's true that they would have had to dealt with. I would have been still okay with just one and one only. We don't have time for two. I mean, they gotta hurry up, regroup, try to find the you know the injection of pretty cure, which is gonna come last minute. I mean, of course, cause I know this show. From the years that I've watched this damn show, even though I still love it no matter what. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, well, um... I, I thought we would skip this, but, um... Y you do whatever you want to do, right? I mean... But by episode 30, we kind of skipped these transformations a little bit. I'm just saying, Sailor Moon, all the other pretty good shows have done by episode 30 or like by season 2, season 3 of whatever Sailor Moon season is. But, okay! <laughs> Plus, I'm also thinking that Latte's mom is going to be the one who gives them their final weapon. It's either that or it's going to be like they have to find something inside themselves in order for the wand to turn into a syringe. But then um, my thing is if it does turn into a syringe or they get a separate wand from this wand that they currently have, I'm just like, okay, so we're just going to be switching back and forth between <laughs> a week which I have no problem with it's just I think it'll be a little weird for me a couple of weeks it just that take time to, to get used to it you know so I would be but it would be better to take the wine and then automatically switch it to a syringe that needs to destroy everything Also, you would think she would do something instead of just standing there. <laughs> Let's hope so. I ain't gonna say anything. Nope. <laughs> because. I mean, they're trying. They're trying their damn hardest to take this thing down, but 
Healing Oasis is not going to do it. I mean, yes, they put the good music up in there, but typically, you know how, like, sometimes when the bad guy is in any Pretty Cure show, when they're winning and the good guys try to use their Pretty Cure power, and they play the bad song with the, uh, the freaking attack, and then you're like, no! Oh. Um... You you need something a little more evolved than Oasis. You gotta do something before he just kills the whole entire earth. Oh. No, oh my God, don't say that, please. So you're going to, okay, mm -hmm. that's exactly what they're going to do. Oh, even la wait. <laughs> Okay, they all get 
Thank God. I was like, it'll be a little weird. Ooh, just want to know. How much money went into this? Jesus, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. She tried, though. Yeah, but I feel like y'all are only going to use that not once, but only in emer emergencies. I can't even speak today. There you go. In emergencies, right there. Because I don't think we're going to see that every episode, like certain series I've done. Of course. What if his body is just like a, a big dog? <laughs> I know that's a random thought, but still. This was a good start for coming back from a two-week hiatus. I love the new costumes. The new costumes kind of give me a mixture of Go Princess versus Get a Get a Pretty Girl the Mode Final Attack um, outfits in a way, except really, you know, hold on. Yeah, but I would say more of the Get a Get a Pretty Girl Ala Mode movie with the wings and stuff like that. So yeah, take those and then bam. Their outfits. It's nice. It's pretty. I like the way it looked. The freaking attack is just gorgeous as hell. I mean, like I said, how much money was put into this? I mean, oh god, I I hate the fact to like sit here and talk about like budget again because I did that a lot with um Star Twinkle and that's why it, it's one of a nut many reasons of why Star Twinkle is still my least favorite of the show because. With that show, that budget was already high enough with the fact that you're already having, like, possibly, maybe, I don't know, I would have to go back and listen to the sayers of, um, the Zodiacs and such, but I think most of them were probably big, big sayers, and so when you're going back into paying those sayers for being in the show, whether even if it was just for... A couple episodes, that's a lot of money. Oh. Oh. As I was saying. But with that, because this is how I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to talk about this again. When we got to the final maybe... 10 episodes of Star Twinkle Pretty Here, that's when I felt like, in my opinion, also leading into the final, like, four, five episodes of the damn show, too, the, the quality and, and everything slowly started to just not look as good as it did with the first half of the show, and I think it's also because of the fact is they had so many big seiyus. I mean, I know the biggest seiyu... 
instead of the main four characters that have our, you know, our main characters of this show. The biggest Seiyu that's in this show is Ruby Seiyu from um, Love Lives uh, Sunshine. That's it. I don't know who else plays the other elements for this show, but she was like one of the biggest and she was in like the top 10 episodes of this first like half of the show. So looking at any of the other elements, it makes you wonder how much they're paying them to also be on this show because I don't know how much they were paying the Zodiac Seiyus, um, but they were probably paying them a lot to the point where by the time we got to that final episode, any moment and then like some of the attacks that they were doing, it just didn't feel as good as they did in the beginning or like once uni came in and everything and the, it's so many things that i still think is wrong with that season as a whole but it's not really as someone who's saying oh i hate this season i still love that season for what it did it just left me with more cons than a lot of pros even though there are a lot of people who really really truly love star trickle pretty here for what it was and everything, but there were times where it was like, eh. But yeah, this episode was really good. I'm glad, you know, Kota was able to have his dad come back and that he's safe and sound and everything. But yes, this, you know, our pretty cure syringe is only going to be able to be used in emergency. So I'm not expecting next week to be another episode where, you know, it seems like Chiyu's brother's going to get controlled or something is controlled. That's probably going to be like episode 33 or 34, but it could happen because. With every other Pretty Cure series, especially like, I want to say healing, not healing, uh, this is healing, Hagato and Kitakita, and I kind of want to say Go Princess, but I barely remember Go Princess like that. They only used their final power, well, Kitakita felt like they used it way too damn much, so it either kept going back and forth between, um the main five doing their final attack, CL doing her final attack by herself sometimes, or just that whole group during their final attack. But I feel like they use theirs like almost every single episode. Hagato was a mixture of the same thing with Kita Kita. Princess, like I said, can't even remember that ish, but I think for Princess, they always use their final attack because I mean... The animation in that is still like top tier because that was the first time when they really decided to use CGI stuff. And I really hope and pray that one day they do that again. Maybe, because how I was thinking they were going to do that either between last season and this season and they still haven't done it. So maybe when we get the freaking, we're supposed to be getting like the spoilers of the next title card for the next damn series. I don't know. I mean, because we're already in November and that was supposed to come out last month and I, I didn't see anything, but who really knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 31 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday, hopefully, for episode 32. Bye, guys.